YouTube, what is going on? It is Mesa Sean back at it with some Destiny, and today we're going to be combining bounties with my farming that I am going to annotate your screen right now. You can see I got some purple stuff last night from my run. Now, before this run, I, I have only have 834 glimmer, and I've got three bounties waiting to cash in. I don't want to cash those in just yet. Now, when we go in here, here's a package I got last night from. Uh, leveling up my Cryptarch guy, but I don't want to decode those just yet. I want to try it. Remember, the higher the level your Cryptarch guy is, the better stuff you get. So before we do anything and cash in engrams, and uh, we'll do this after the run, we want to go and make sure we can try to get this Cryptarch guy up as quick as possible. So here I'm just buying a couple of things just to whatever waste my loot that I've, my glimmer that I've got right now, and then cash those in. And let's start the run. Big big tip: if you do not complete the Shrine of Oryx, every time you go back, you will spawn right here. So every time you select that mission from your map, you can go right here and not have to skip everything. So you got to make sure you choose the level that you last uh, killed yourself at. So here, I just did it a little bit here. We want to get the Silken Codexes from this from this run right here, as well as those Black Wax Idols. Then we're going to go and do our real run, which we're going to go to the Dark Beyond, and we're going to select... I chose uh, 20 because I found that's where I got the most blue and green engrams. Not really. On, on easy, I didn't find any, and I found one or two purples when I did it at this level. But remember, with the Shrine of Oryx, you can respawn in. However, Dark Beyond, you just gotta do the first two missions before you get to the farming area. So here's the farming area, which I showed you in the last video. Temple Crota, you're just gonna stay here and you can do this as long as you want and collect all your engrams, as well as make sure you activate that Black Wax Idol. And I even found one or two Silk Codexes here, but primarily the first part of the run at the Shrine of Oryx is where I got those Silk Codexes. So again, uh, just make sure you kill all these guys and do not kill the big big boss in the back there see him right there right in front of me so i'm gonna blade dance a bunch of his friends over here those hollowed knights because i want to kill them because they sometimes have drops but i gotta make sure i do not kill the main boss that guy well no, no i'm sorry not him not that yeah there's the main guy and also do not go past uh don't go into that doorway back there because then that will initiate the next sequence in the mission you don't want to do that so make sure you die somewhere over here and then you'll you can start it all over and respawn right at the top so now, you guys could do this for as long as you want. I have a short attention span, so I just try to maximize what I can do. So I just did this about 10 times, um, and we're going to see how much I actually got from this run. This whole run, now that you could spawn in right at the beginning of the Shrine of Oryx, I did this in about 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes tops. So let's go into the tower, and we're going to combine it with bounties and leveling up the Crypt Arc. Okay, so the reason why that we're going to turn in the bounties afterwards, because remember, whatever you hold in your particular hand at that time is what's going to get leveled up. All the other stuff doesn't. So I'm going to be cutting through all this stuff, guys, but basically we're going to do like my trick where I used to do, where I'd be leveling up, gaining XP with my gun class, getting those bounties, then switching over to Blade Dancer. But now I'm at the point where I want to work on Blade Dancer because I'm pretty much done with the Gunslinger. But I want to make sure anything we get that's cool, that comes from... Either some of the engrams I find, or if the Cryptoc guy gives us something, make sure they're in my possession. Like right now, I'm still, this came out of one of my runs, I still got a bunch of things I need to upgrade on. So, alright guys, so I'm going to speed through this thing actually. I'm just going to dismantle anything I don't need. We got uh, a purple helmet. We got, um, let's see, two of these here. Two blue could be anything. And let's see, I got a blue heavy weapon, blue sniper, and that's pretty much it. So this quick run got me 7,500 um 7500 glimmer and i still have uh nine of the wax uh black wax idols and i got a bunch of silken codexes and we know those are worth i think 200 each but we're not going to turn these bounties in yet let's go see the crypt art guide so i want to use some of that money to possibly level up first so let's cash these in lots of glimmer there we go just got a thousand right there so now before i decode these things i still got a whole bunch of money here Let's just see how quickly I could try to level this guy up by a whole bunch. Let's see. I uh, didn't really get you much. I'm going to speed through this, guys. Okay, so I clearly don't have enough to get him up to a next level. So we're just going to keep doing this and let's, let's, let's cash these in now. So let's see what we got. Cloak, don't need that. Another cloak, don't need that. Please be something good. Yes. Yes. Sweet. What do we got here? Nope, don't need that. And, oh, uh, you know, I could use a Sidewinder. But... See, remember, guys, the, the the higher the level, I know I keep saying over and over, because I, I had no idea. I really want to get him up to a 7, and then it'll really start. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take the rest of the money and just start buying things here over and over just to get his level up. So, you know, do a couple more runs, but let's go into the bounties. Okay, so before we cash in our bounties, let's go into our character and see if there's anything in particular I need to level up. 
So here, actually, for my scout rifle for a pulse, you know what? I want to get this pulse rifle leveled up. So it's got to be in my hand. And we got a sniper here, fusion. You know what? I'm gonna uh, that's sidewinder. No, same gun. Silly me. So I can actually get rid of this thing. Uh, I'm gonna put the fusion in there. I want to upgrade that. Get rid of this. And yeah, we got plenty to upgrade on this. Now, as for armor, I'm definitely gonna put that helmet on. Oh, it's for a Titan class. See, that's the second. I didn't even realize it. Second time I got something for a Titan. So I'm gonna go put that in my vault because the other day I got a purple Engram, which was a, a chess piece for a Titan. So nothing here, nothing here. Here we can upgrade this, and that's whatever. So hold on, just once again, let's see the bounties. Here's what I got. And then before I cash them in, you choose which class you want to put it towards. Gunslinger or Blade Dancer. For me, I'm lower in my Blade Dancer, so I want to cash in those bounties for my Blade Dancer. So let's do this. This would have worked better if I had more guns that I actually wanted to upgrade. So my future War Cult rep went up, and let's take a look in here. So I went up in Blade Dancer, that's sweet, and there we go, Razor's Edge, and let's look at what upgrades, it's upgraded on my gun here, I uh, got that, let's see, skip rounds, or lightweight, I'm going to go with skip rounds, and for my fusion, let's see what we got here, I got different sights now, uh, okay, that doesn't matter, and then for my purple, my purple people leader, I'm going to call it, we got a linear compensator. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, oh, wait, hold on. I got some here. We can upgrade. Uh, upgrade defense. Oh, wait, I don't have enough. Let's see. I need helium filaments for this. Um, and, and glimmer, actually. So I have plenty of sapphire wire. Cause that's from breaking down all those unneeded weapons. But, I mean, um, un unneeded pieces of armor. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm doing this all in one take. Anyway, so, uh, and that's it, guys. So, yeah, it obviously would work if you have a lot more bounties. And um, you want to cash those in. And again, it's related to my leveling up your second subclass uh, trick or whatever you want to call it. A friend of mine showed it to me, where you basically just, before you cash him in, make sure the character is selected that you want to level up and make sure in his hand is whatever pieces of gear you want that XP to go towards, okay? So that's it for me, guys. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, drop me that like if you see fit. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Follow me at Twitter. At Mesa Sean and my Twitch stream, I stream daily, mostly PvP, not the PvE stuff. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Mesa Sean. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.